Hi friends, welcome to Naresh I Technologies. Now, let us start the second session on simple and compound interest. In the previous session, we have learned the logical ideas behind calculating simple and compound interest. Now, in this session, we will try to solve some problems using that logics. Now, let us start with the first question. Find the simple interest on a sum of rupees 12,000 at the rate of 15 percent per annum for 4 years. Now, it is a very simple problem. You can solve this problem by using a formula also. Let us try to solve this problem by using a formula initially and later on let us try to solve it without using a formula. Now, when it comes to formula, I need to find out the simple interest. So, the formula for simple interest is P T R by 100. Now, P is the sum borrowed which is 12,000, time period is 4 years and the rate of interest is 15 percent per annum by 100. Now, calculating this, we get 4 into 15 is 60, 60 into 120 is 7200. So, the simple interest that has to be paid for 4 years at the rate of 15 percent per annum is 7200. Now, this is one way to tell the answer for this question, but logically speaking do we require this formula to tell the answer for this particular question. Now, let us see very simple logic principal is 12,000 that is the sum borrowed is 12,000. Any value initially is 100 percent. So, here I assume principal as 100 percent that 100 percent is equal to 12,000 rupees. Now, I need to find out interest at the rate of 15 percent per annum for 4 years. For 1 year it is 15 percent for 4 years it should be 60 percent. So, the interest what you get is 60 percent of 12,000. Now, 60 percent of 12,000. Now, what is 60 percent of 12,000? 10 percent of 12,000 is 1,200. 60 percent should be 1,200 into 6 which is 7,200 or we can perform cross multiplication 60 into 12,000 by 100. 2 zeros and 2 zeros get cancelled. 12 into 6 72 and 2 zeros 7200. Now, this is one method to tell the answer for this question. Now, let us take one more problem. Now, the second question find the amount to be paid on a sum of rupees 15,000 at the rate of 8 percent per annum for 5 years if the interest is calculated in simple interest. Now, let us first of all try to solve this problem in a general way. In a general way, if I want to solve this problem, first I calculate the interest. Now, simple interest is P T R by 100. So, principal here is 15,000, time period is 5 years and the rate of interest is 8 percent per annum by 100. Now, calculating this we get 150 into 5 into 8, 8 into 5, 40, 40 into 150, 6000 rupees. Now, this is the interest that we have to pay after 5 years at the rate of 8 percent per annum on a sum of rupees 15,000. Now, what is the amount you have to pay? Amount is nothing but principal plus interest which is 15,000 plus 6000 answer is 21000. Now, this is a general way of solving this problem by using a formula. Now, how will I tell the answer for this question without using a formula? We always assume principal to be 100 percent. So, 100 percent here is rupees 15000. Now, what is that we have to find out? We have to find out the amount. First of all, amount is nothing but principal plus interest. How much percent of interest we get is 8 percent for 5 years. That is for 1 year it is 8 percent, for 5 years it is 
40 percent. So, we get an interest of 40 percent. Principal is 100 percent, interest is 40 percent. So, definitely amount should be 140 percent. So, my simple calculation is if principal is 100 percent, which is 15,000, 140 percent is how much? 140 into 15,000 by 100. Calculating this, 14 into 15 is 210 and 2 zeros. So, the amount to be paid is 21,000. Simple way of calculating the amount without using the formula. Now, let us go for the next problem. Now, let us start the third problem. A certain sum of money borrowed at the rate of 12 percent per annum in SI that is in simple interest for 3 years amounts to rupees 68,000. Find the sum. That is, I need to find out the principal. There is some money which is borrowed at in simple interest at the rate of 12 percent per annum for 3 years and the amount that is paid after 3 years is 68,000 rupees. I want what is the sum. Now, generally how to solve this problem by using a formula. If I use a formula for this, amount is nothing but principal plus interest, which is principal plus interest is nothing but PTR by 100. Now, this is a formula for simple interest. Now, if I take out P common, it is 1 plus TR by 100. This is the formula for amount. Now, if I want principal, principal will be nothing but amount by 1 plus TR by 100. Now, calculating this, definitely we should get the answer. Now, let us see what is the answer. Principal is, amount is 68,000 by 1 plus time period is 3 years and the rate of interest is 12 percent, 3 into 12 by 100. So, 68,000 by, if I take out LCM, it is 100 and 100 plus 36, 136. So, 68,000 into 100 by 136. Now, calculating this, we should get the answer. Now, 136 Pfizer is 680. So, answer is 50,000. So, the principal here is 50,000. Now, this is a method in which we can solve this problem by using this formula, but you can see a very lengthy way of solving this problem. Now, how to answer this question in one step, in a single step? Now, let us see that method. Now, in this chapter, we have to assume principal is 100 percent. Now, the rate of interest in this problem is 12 percent per annum and the time period is 3 years. So, every year there should be interest of 12 percent, 12 percent, 12 percent, 12 percent. So, totally the interest we get is 36 percent of the principal. So, what is the amount that we have to pay after 3 years with respect to principal? Definitely, it should be 136 percent of principal because principal is 100 percent and the interest that has to be paid is 36 percent. So, 136 percent will be equal to 68,000. What is 100 percent? This is what we need to calculate. Simple cross multiply 100 into 68,000 by 136. 136 phi's is 680, 500 into 100, answer is 50,000. Now, this is a simple way of answering this question. Now, let us go to the next question. Now, let us look into the next problem. Find the compound interest on a sum of rupees 6000 at the rate of 5 percent per annum for 2 years, interest calculated annually. Now, we know that directly we cannot find out the compound interest. First of all, we need to find out the amount and then find out compound interest if we use formula. Now, let us solve this problem by using formula. Amount is P into 1 plus R by 100 
whole to the power of n. So, substituting the values, principal is 6000, 1 plus rate of interest is 5 percent, 5 by 100 whole to the power of n, n value is 2. So, 6000 into 1 plus 5 by 100, this is 1 by 20, 1 plus 1 by 20 is 21 by 20 whole square into 2 times into 21 by 20. So, calculating this, I calculate 2 zeros, cancel 2 30s, 2 15s. Now, 15 into 21 into 21 is 441, 15 into 441, 15 ones, 15, 1 carry, 15 4 60 plus 1 61, 15 4 60 plus 6 carry 66. So, it is 6615. Now, this is the amount we have to pay after 2 years, but in the question we are asked to find out interest. How to calculate interest? Very simple, compound interest will be nothing but amount minus principal. So, it is 6615 minus 6000. So, answer is 615. Now, this is the method we use to tell the answer for compound interest by using a formula. Now, how to tell the answer for this question without using a formula in a very simple way. Now, as we know compound interest is interest on interest, but whenever we calculate interest, may be simple interest or compound interest for the first year, it is always calculated on principal. Now, see how to answer this question in a very simple way. Now, I am calculating what is the interest that has to be paid in the first year. Definitely, it should be 5 percent of 6000. Now, 10 percent of 6000 is 600. So, 5 percent of 6000 should be 300. Now, 300 is the interest that has to be paid in the first year. Now, what is the interest you have to pay in second year? Very simple interest on interest that is 300 plus 5 percent of 300. Now, 10 percent of 300 is 30, 5 percent is 15. So, 300 plus 15 which is 315. So, the interest that has to be paid in the first year is 300, second year is 315. So, what is the interest that has to be paid for 2 years is 300 plus 315, 615. Now, you can see same answer, but this is a simplest way to answer the question. Now, we discuss few more questions in the next session. Thank you for watching.